Hello, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Today we're playing at Samson. I just decided I want to play him. I unlocked him a while back, kind of on a lucky run. Basically, I just got that thing that makes it so you're invincible in the first hit of a room. And, uh, I just managed to not take two hits in any room for two floors, and I unlocked Samson. So he has some of the best hair of any of the characters. I still like Eve's hair better, but that's probably because I'm biased in some way that I don't know about. Either way, his um, his power, ironically enough, considering the way that you unlock him, is he gains more power each time he's hit per floor. So the floor will reset back to um. Let's go find the item room. I think there's a tinted rock in there. I gotta remember that. His power will reset every floor, but basically he just gets stronger the more he gets hit. I don't know why I needed to say that twice. All right, then a mishap. Not that amazing. Oh well. Let's try to find a bomb. We could really use that tinted rock. Although we might not want to bring the heart into the... Oh, there's another tinted rock. How much I wish I had Mr. Boom again. That guy's the best. I also started with one penny. That's very helpful. Maybe I didn't. Whew, almost took a damage there. What is this? Safety cap, don't swallow it. Okay. I wish I knew what that was. So, I'm not finding anything this first floor. Those two tinted rocks aren't really going anywhere. Unless this boss for some reason gives me a bomb of some sort. And it's the Duke of Flies who can't even be hit by my item that I picked up. Because he can fly. That's fun. I think this is a different version of the Duke of Flies as well. Like a redder one. He must he might do more damage or something. It's not like I hit him a little bit stronger now. Whew. This is kind of annoying though. I just wish that if I picked up I picked up an active item that could actually help me in this situation. I'm kind of just fighting ads until I can figure out a way to not to like break through. Because these extra flies I'm fine with, but the ones that shoot at me and, like, come towards me, I have to deal with. Or else I'm just going to start losing too much HP. Okay, so these guys actually want to tussle now. And there's this actual fly in my room, trying to annoy me while I'm doing this. Oh, Duke of Flies. How unintimidating you are with one damage upgrade. Or playing as a character like a Zazzle with AoE. Except when you're like this, you're just super annoying. Oh. I mean, I took half of a heart there, pretty much of my own stupidity. Or lack of, um, dodging. I, I seem to be one-shotting half of these guys and then not. I must be able, have been landing the hits earlier. Come on, just... just die. <laughs> Why did I not pick up a good item? Ooh. So honestly, we didn't lose any health on that floor, really. And we got one... what is this? Roid Rage. Speed and range up. Okay. I look almost like a character in Hotline Miami. With my face. If you played out my memory too, you know the one I'm talking about. Probably have similar inspirations, to be honest. Alright, that's a room that I need to bomb twice to get into. So many flies! And so many, like, flying enemies so far that this lemon mishap is even more, like, not useful than it normally is. Lemon mishap is not known to be the best item, because it has a very small puddle. But, it's especially not good when stuff like this happens. Are you a wizard? Why does the game think that that's a good pill? Alright, that's a free heart. It's fine. This this pill needs to be put into the bad pill rotation. Like, it needs to be registered as a bad pill, because it's not one that you want in almost any scenario. Oof. I really do not like having these side shots. Oh, that's so much better. 
Like being able to rightly aim where I'm where I want to is such a nice feature. Speed down. Dead on. Okay, dead onion is pretty good. Now I really look like a hotline Miami character. I'm all like messed up in a bunch of ways. Alright. That's not entirely the worst. I took some damage, but that at least means I'm better. And that means I'm even better. I can get some... Oh, I can get some better... I can get my health back out, actually. So that's nice. I can kill the poops really well. You always measure a run by how well you can kill the poops. Go back in here. I can shoot these guys over the wall, which is nice. Now I'm hoping for like a Larry Jr. or something. Something multi-sectional. Oh, Dingle. So, just, he's gonna shoot. Okay, I just dodged into that. Oh, he did it again. So that time I actually got him to run in the Lemon Mishap, which is nice. I just, I just want him to really do a summon. Yeah, there we go. That's much better. <laughs> Shot speed and damage up. Okay. I mean, I'm not doing too well here. I have 2 HP. But at least I have more HP containers. Although my damage just reset from this floor. I can shoot these guys from this half, though. It doesn't really matter. I still have pretty okay damage, though. There's that bomb that I wanted so long ago. Ooh. There we go. So, if I want, I can have another 11 mishap. Not exactly something I'm hoping for. I need to find another key. The Hermit. That's the shop, I think. But at least we don't need to get anywhere later. Um, I really would like to have the boomerang, but there's no real way to achieve that. It's a key. Alright. That's what we needed to get into the treasure room. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, this is this is all stuff we needed. Ugh, I don't like these guys at all. They're just annoying to deal with, and they are—they put pressure on you with also the mechanic of being a turret. And you need to like, you need to focus on what you're doing so much. So I forgot to actually talk. They put pressure on you, and they also require you to wait for them to do things. It's not a very comfortable situation. Not that this game is very comforting in the first place. Alright, I could buy my way into that pill, but I don't think I want to. I really need to start memorizing the color of these pills when I pick them up the first time. There's, there's no way I'm writing it down. That's just gonna take too long. This room is just like both the things I hate about first floors. I guess bonies appear in other ones as well. We'll save time by shooting these like this. That's an eternal heart. I'm actually gonna not pick that up right now. I'm gonna try to remember that that's there so I can pick it up at the end of the floor and not risk losing it. Because there's no point in really picking it up right now. I mean, I guess I can get an extra heart, but that's not good. Or an extra half of a heart, but I don't think I'm in that too big of a situation. Mom's Pearl, very nice. Gives me more spirit hearts over the course of everything. Where is... Oh, these hearts are just there. So, I can go pick up uh, what's ever in here. Okay, the poop. Somehow I almost feel like this is better than the lemon mishap. So now I can poop. On, on a one-room demand. If I had, like, something... The poop was only really good if you have things that synergize with poops. Like, um... Like, what is it? The, fro the petrified one? Petrified poop? Because then you can... Oh, not going in there. Then you can use that to constantly summon poops that have a high chance of giving you things in return. What was... What was in here? I know I was in here before, I just can't... Okay, I just left that in there. Now I remember. Because I saw it. Of course. So, yeah, I'm not going to pick up that Eternal Heart. I don't feel confident about only losing one half of a heart in this boss fight, whatever it is. And it's this one, so yeah. Also, every enemy I've gotten so far can fly. 
So that's nice. I kind of want to shoot the the, the non-exploding one first. The exploding one's a lot easier to handle. Or at least to dodge. Yeah, you see, like, that one hits me multiple times. The bomb one's very easy to remember to hit to dodge. Alright, that's all damaging. So I'll just go over here. There we go. So, I like this better than the Lemon Mishap, to be honest. So now I can fly over here and pick this up. Amnesia, I forgot where everything is. Although I still remember. Internal art up here. And there's two hearts over here. Very nice. Now we can head our way back up. And I don't think there's anything in the shop. I guess there's a spirit heart we could pick up from the shop. So that would be nice. Um, we'll pick this up. Let's kill these poops while we're here. They might have a nickel in them. Even a penny would be nice. And then we'll head up to the boss room again. I still don't have enough bombs to really warrant doing secret rooms, I don't think. And also with amnesia, it's kind of hard to remember where the secret rooms might even spawn. Alright. Feeling a bit more comfortable. This is a very nice room for me. And the horse is going to help me a lot with not having to use bombs. The bombs that I don't really have much of. Come on, blow up stuff for me. Alright. Those little poops are a lot harder to... A lot easier to deal with when you have the ability to fly, even though I just got hit. Oh my god, I just got hit again. How can one be so bad at tiny baby crying video game? the unofficial working title for this game. Not many people know about it, though. Alright. Can't outrange these guys, so I'll just fly up above them. And now they can't hit me. Awesome. Two bombs. Very appreciated. So that one can't be there. Ooh. Oh, these are, they aren't even the brimstone ones. These are like the chub ones. Alright. Another bomb. Very nice. Now we can start using our bombs a little bit more frugally. Oh, this is just... Oh, that's, this is a great room. You just take these guys out. Come on. Just die. Look, I wanted one Larry Jr. at least. And that's Larry Jr. Let's see if we can get in here. Yes, we can. Alright. Let's blow up some of these. These can give you really good payouts. What's this? Range up. Very nice. Well, at least appreciate it. It's not the best fill in the world, but it's very nice. Speed up. Also good. I'll try to bomb for each of these. Ah, uh, I knew I'd miss that one. Oh, this one's a smorgasbord. Speed down. Luck up. Very nice. Bombs are key. Um, I don't know if I want that. The recap touch bunny get dizzy. Hmm. I think I want Mum's Pearl. And I can't waste another bomb because I use bombs or key. And we don't really have any reason to go into that shop room. So we'll just keep on going. Wrath. Very easy when you can fly and can shoot through walls. Or through, um, obstacles. You just stay way over here and he doesn't really even affect me. I don't think he nearly knows what's going on. Although I can't push the bombs like I could normally because my tears go through things. So that's a problem. I'm gonna need to remember that. Dropped a nickel. That's nice. One more sentence. We can check the storage room at least see if something's half off. I think we can just shoot these poops from up here. They won't be able to hit us. Yep. Come on. Now, some people would say that that trick right there was cowardly, but it's up to your it's up to you to play the best you can to cover your bad abilities. And I have some bad abilities. For instance, I almost got hit there. I like almost instinctive instinctively walked into the bullets and got myself killed. Come on. Come on, just die. 
There we go. Alright. These guys are kind of just running around in a circle. I can see this room being a lot more difficult if you couldn't fly. Are you a wizard? I will not pick that up. In fact, I'm dropping that. I'm not even keeping it with me on the off chance that I use it. Because that would be awful. Hello, Gerglings. So I don't need to worry about these guys' ground stuff because I can fly right now. Okay. I think that's a luck up? Tears up? Wow, we got a lot of ups in our... in our pill rotation. Oh my god. I could have just used my flight thing to fly away there. At least I get a slight more, bit of more damage. I'm pretty sure there's hearts somewhere around here. Oh my god, I used my charge thing. That's weird. Well, at least we have HP. We have HP somewhere else around on the floor we can use to regen. So if anything, this is kind of helping the boss fight a little bit more. Oh my, how did I get hit? This is like the room that's only bad because it's you get confined by, confined by not being able to fly. And I got hit while being able to fly. Oh well, we can um, we can actually use the hearts down here to a better advantage this way. Pick that up, so we can take the we can take all the damage from all these extra rooms because I'm bad, and then we can use the hearts we have to gain more power, and basically just be at what we were before, except because we took damage, we're much stronger now, which is a nice feeling that our terrible plays can work for us instead of against us. Still not taking Are You a Wizard. If that was just like the Magician card where your shots become homing, that'd be a, that'd be an awesome pill. And it would actually deserve its slot in like the good books. But it doesn't. Because it's bad. And it just makes the game hard to play. So I don't know why it's... Why your character thinks it's a good thing. Dark one. I fought this guy before. I, be, I believe on one of my recent runs. He's pretty difficult. Oof. I think I might be at my maximum for doing stuff. Charge him! Aw, oh, that charging doesn't work very well. I might be at maximum for damage, though, so that was pretty good. Heart. So I think if I... Let's check, because Mom's Pearl is supposed to increase spirit heart generation, right? Okay, I didn't even get that. Best plays. Best plays. Didn't even check for another spirit room. Or secret room. Spirit room. I wish there were rooms that gave spirit hearts. Alright. It's kind of just more damage for the rest of the floor. That's just what I'm going to say. This room is no threat at all. This room can just be solved in one hit. There we go. Just one good hit. These guys are a little bit annoying. But even more so when you can't fly. That's why people say a lot that the pony's bad or it's like not that good of an item. But the, giving the ability to fly, I think, is a good enough justifier for an item. Maybe it's not the best, but the fact that you just are able to fly may means that it's okay to have in an active slot if you don't have anything else. Let's blow these up. It's probably just going to be turrets. Tarot card. The tower. That's a bombs thing. We can use that to kill the boss. Maybe. If anything, it's going to do something. It's either going to hit him and help me kill him, or it's going to hit me and I'm going to be able to kill him better. Or I die. I mean, that could also be it. A case that happens. I'll just sit over here. Again, just use your use what I have at my disposal to cover up my bad plays. I don't know what this is. So I'll probably take it because I don't know what it is. In and I triple shot. Oh. Okay. So now we have triple piercing shots. Three fight. Okay. I mean, that worked pretty well. So we, sh we shoot a lot slower now, but we do a lot more damage per hit. Which I think is okay. It's kind of better for my lack of aim, I believe. It makes it a lot easier to hit these small enemies. I'll take it. I'll take it as a plus. Also, triple shot's just cool. It's convenient for these fires. Triple shot's nice. What the? Oh, the self-sacrifice room hurts me anyway. It gave me... Ugh. That's cool. It hurt me even though I flew over it. I guess it's because this is the whole room's purpose is that. So they don't want people that picked up flying at some point to have to not use that room for the rest of the run. Never been big on the self-sacrifice room, so... Alright, 
We're not going to take that. Yeah, self-sacrifice has never really been a thing I've been into. In, in terms of Binding of Isaac, I guess. I mean, it's an okay motif for, like, the end of a movie, even if it's a bit overused, but... I think that trading, a generally, the few health that you have for one of those is not generally worth it. What's in here? One chest? I'm not going to take that. Although it is just three waves of enemies. And I have a lot of hearts. Oh, no, I'll go for it. Spirit heart. I should have waited to pick that up. Because spirit hearts... Well, regular red hearts I can just regenerate throughout this floor. With um, all the ones I have left behind. With spirit hearts I can't. So I really wish I kind of just didn't pick that up until after this was over. So the hope now is just not get hit by anything. So these guys are just like bad AI normal zombies. Okay, that went well. I didn't lose the spirit heart that I wanted to not lose. So, everything worked out well. Don't even need to use something for this. Are you a wizard again? Really don't like that. I don't know why anyone would. Very, just this entire run is basically just like the, the hate on are you a wizard run. Let's just dodge this guy. Thankfully these guys don't have that great of AI either. They just kind of like stomp around. Although I guess flying might hurt their AI a bit. Hurry guys, come on. Ooh. This is kind of good for these guys. We can get like the three shots off. The, the verdict's still off for triple shot, but I like it so far. I think double shot is might be a better item though, because it doesn't reduce your attack speed. It just makes it so you can just attack tw twice as good without any real trade-off. Oh, I can go back to the shop now. Oh wait, that's not a shop. I should bomb some stuff for a secret room though. Uh, we'll bomb over here. That's not a secret room. Maybe this is a secret room. I gotta stop picking this up. Maybe this is a secret room? There we go. A lot of, a lot of sense. It's a good thing. We still don't have a shop on this floor, though. Because of the, the greed fight. And super secret rooms, I'm not gonna try to bomb things for. To be honest. I'm just gonna keep whatever luck I have. Two of these guys, that's not good. We'll ride through them. That's a nice ability, though. I'm doing a lot of damage to these guys. That damage we took earlier on the floor. That's what's kind of nice about Samson. Is as, a, as a worse player, you're almost kind of rewarded for playing worse. I mean, it, it might not be good for a gameplay aesthetic, I don't know about that, but... I like that my mistakes can actually come to prove to help me later. It also means that a good person can choose to take damage in certain scenarios. To gain more damage. I should have gone to that self-sacrifice room, actually. Now that I think about it, there was a lot of hearts left on that floor. I need to remember to do that later. Like, in other scenarios where I have self-sacrifice rooms. Because there's no point in just leaving that there. Alright. That's Are You a Wizard again. So what's cool about this is as many hearts as this drop can equal out the damage upgrades for this floor. And I think these are... What are these? Tears up? Double tears up? Oh, this is going to be a damage, damage-focused thing. So we're almost at max now, so we can keep this up a little bit. That's another hill of some sort. Speed down. All right, we don't need this. What's this? Range up. Very nice. Puberty. I mean, that's not bad at all. It doesn't. <laughs> like that's a better pill. And are you a wizard? It doesn't hurt you. So we'll go down to 15 cents for this. Alright, so this equals out to four donations into this. Alright. So we can gamble these last three pennies, hope for a heart. Alright, no hearts. Um, the other stuff is useless, I don't need the blood bag for anything. So now, we're powered up to maximum power. And, we didn't really lose anything there. Just blow this stuff up. Come on. There you go. Get the spirit hearts, the bombs, everything we need. 
We can take these guys out really easy. So now we have super huge tiers. That's really nice. Basically, we just like shotgun effect and take out anything there. It's nice. Oh, I know I didn't use the self-sacrifice room because I would have lost my spirit heart. That's a good reason. Hmm. Oh, the conservation of spirit hearts. It can sometimes be a, a tedious task. But a rewarding one as well. I don't know if those words can go together. I hope so. I guess tedious things can be rewarding. It's not as much because they were tedious in the first place. I think these these are bad. Okay, they didn't give me anything. So they definitely weren't good. Well, they weren't good to blow up. So now that we have the the key, that's kind of helpful, but we already have enough keys. So if we find a key beggar, I mean, that's not really going to help much. I guess the golden key doesn't help at all with the key beggar in the first place, so... Although if we do find a key beggar, we have a lot of keys to use. That's the one can't be a secret room. Yeah, it really can't be a secret room. Hello, Chub. Three shot. It's very nice. Glad to see that our arcade uh, shenanigans worked out very well. Let's go. What's in here? PhD. All, the, all those pills that we keep picking up that are Are You a Wizard? We can go back and get good pills. Oh my god. I forgot that that's considered a good pill in this game somehow. How is that a good pill? Like, honestly. So, I'm just going to go back into this. Where were we? Oh yeah, the arcade's down here. I was wondering what was going on. I almost used every key there. I guess I just can. This one should be a speed up now. This one is still Are You a Wizard. Jesus. I'm blowing this up. Got the bomb back. I'm sorry. But we'll, we'll give you a penny first. Alright, fuck you. Thanks for the bomb keys. Look, one penny and for one bomb and one key. The trade was worth it. Although I also did murder a person, but... I live out in the wilds. These things sometimes give them, so I'm just going to unlock them because I have the golden key. And there's really no point not to. For just free stuff. I mean, we'll just... Go, 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 go. Okay, didn't notice me. Ooh, what is this? Infestation 2. Very nice. I think I just summoned fl uh, spiders now. I'm not even on the floor, so the things don't recognize that I exist. Okay, I needed to open that anyway. No reason to open those. This one can be one of these. Blow it up. Okay, now. Blow this up. Two bombs. This room came out even. Hello, Mom. So I think when I kill things now, it will summon spiders to help me. And being able to kill everything quickly, very helpful. Alright, now I just deal more damage, so thanks, Mom. Synth all damage range up. Very nice. No tinted rocks around here. Deal with the devil. Brimstone. Um, this is... I think I'm already pretty good on damage, to be honest. I don't think I need Brimstone for anything. Unless I want to go for, like, the super combo. Triple shot, I'm not sure if that works with Brimstone. I'm gonna... I'm checking this up right now, actually. Just finding... Of Isaac. Reaper. Triple shot gemstone. I need to know. If it works. People are... It seems to work. I'm thinking it works. I just one check on the wiki. Triple... Nope, doesn't work. Oh. Man, I'm so bad at this. No, it doesn't seem to work. So I'm not taking it. I spent so much time doing that. Look, I had to test, though. So if it was triple shot brimstone, it would be worth seeing. It'd be kind of funny. But since it's not, I'm not doing it. Our tiers are still pretty big, honestly. We almost have maximum anyway, so... Getting hurt on floors isn't exactly a goal anymore. Kind of just helped us get through the earlier places. 
Well, now we're at full, if we ever needed it. Alright. I just need to not take any hits. Like that one. Got him. Okay. What's in here? Just one of these? What is this thing? Swallowed Penny. Gulp. I'm not sure what this thing does. I do like the Spirit Heart generation better than not knowing what it does, though. Like, to be honest. I'll use you some other day, Swallowed Penny. At least it's added to my collection, though. And that one didn't last very long. I think Chub Chub does have multiple hits, though. Also, Swallowed Penny probably has something to do with money, and money doesn't really mean anything in terms of this run. Because we're already on the womb, which doesn't I believe doesn't have shops anymore. So we don't really need it. Again, Samson's nice for exploring the rest of the dungeon. Because if we take more damage, then we're not going to... Oh, well, they got destroyed. If we take more damage, then we're just going to do more damage later on. I mean, we're already at max. I'm not sure if there's a maximum, though. Like, entirely. What's this? Two of hearts, item multiplier. Well, I multiplied, I think, my keys. Okay, he's dead. Alright, Angel Fetuses. Tears up. I think that was a Tears Down before, that's very nice. Ace of Spades. Uh, I'm not even using my tarot cards now. Alright. Infestation 2 is working out very well. We'll bomb some stuff for a secret room. Let's hope to find one. How'd that guy just die so quick? Boop. Matchstick. Tastes like burning. Come on. Alright. That's that done with. Throw down a bomb. Still nothing. Oof. I've just basically taken War's place as the Horseman of the Apocalypse. Rustic Key. Don't think I really need. Blow this up for fun. I just wanted to. Don't you judge me. I already checked that room over there. That was just nice. Oop. Still nothing. Where could this be? So I'm building up a nice spider army for the boss later. Although I'm hoping I can avoid using these spiders until a situation where I really need them. Because every spider I lose here is one I won't have later. And it would be nice just to have a mega army built up that I could save for the for the fights that I really need them in. Alright. Let's blow up this wall. This ha there has to be a secret room in, in like this room connected. There has to be, because where else would it be? Really? Is it like over this way? Oh, maybe it's... That's not... That can't be it. That can't be it. This could be it. Finally. All for six cents. That's not even worth it. You can, I'm still getting the penny, though. Okay, let's just go back. We've been a little bit defeated on the super, super secret room. I don't know where that's off to. Unless it's right here! Oh my god. One eternal heart. I probably should have, again, saved that to the end of the thing. I mean, I guess I didn't need to save it. There we go. Well, advantage, gotta lick them all. I skipped deals with the devil, so I just get one free heart. Boop. Thank you, Angel. Cause I, yeah, I denied that brimstone deal a, while, a little bit back. So the angels are taking favor with me. Triple shot helps with this guy a lot. And they're dead. And honestly, every guy that dies pretty much just serves to feed my spider army. Calls out to its brothers. I still want... I still really want a, um... Spirit Heart Generator. More than anything else. Just the more Spirit Hearts I can get, the better. Oh, these are Brimstone guys. Good thing like, I killed them in one, like, side shot. I don't even need to hit them with both things to kill them. Spiders should wreck those guys. Pulse worm. Whoop whoop. I mean, that's funny. 
And the pulsing might be actually be good for going through big enemies. I'll take it, actually. I will track Faith up. Let's test this. Let's see this out. I mean, these guys are not going to have a good time. I love their faces when they die, though. Range up. Yeah. Getting some really good range. I go to the end of the screen. So these bigger rooms I'm going to have a really good time in because I can fly and I also have basically end of the room range. And the poops can't even handle me. I think we're gonna work, like uh, what worm is good with this one. I can just shoot in random directions here. And my stuff will probably go across the entire screen. Hit somebody. Hello, Joe. Alright. Say hi to YouTube. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kinda late in the, in the morning. And by so late, I mean that my brother just woke up for work this morning, so you know. Sometimes he had to talk to me. Oh well. I hope that nobody really heard much of, like, too much of that, honestly. Just for, like, not annoying anybody. And say hi to you two. I'm gonna go over here. Maybe we can get more spiders. Maybe we can find other things. There's gotta be other cool stuff you can find in these places. That can't be a secret room. Alright. Alright, this is clearly a place we want to go. It's just a poop room. With poop in it. Although I got I got a key back. Oh well. Alright, pulse worm. I like the pulse worm. With uh, piercing shots, it's very nice. Range up again. I believe that's maximum range. No, not maximum just yet. Still very nice. PhD, pretty good choice in this situation. Alright. Got that half heart, that's nice. Those poops really in, um, are good for this type of thing. You can blow this up for a sick room. That might be a tinker rock. Nope, not. We can go over here. Blow this up. I don't think that one is. Nope. It's up here. Again, no. That can't be one. This one? I don't believe so, because there's a spike there. Nope. That can't be one. I mean, the only room left has to be, like, right at the bottom of this. And I have blown that up already. Oh, it's Mom's heart. Just pulse worm my way through this. So bring up a bunch of bombs. Just dodge the stuff. Okay. I mean, I I got a quarter, but I didn't. Oh, I really wanted to go somewhere else. So this is Samson. I like him a lot. I think he's pretty cool. Um, the pulse shots are kind of nice with the a uh, spectral tears, but you know, pretty fun run all together. Glad I finally got some good pills. Except I your wizard, which I got like five times. Either way, thank you so much for watching. Let's check out this ending. A quarter. Yeah. And that is one kill. One heart kill with uh, Samson. I like Samson. He's really cool. He doesn't have a lot of attack, but he gets really strong if he ever gets hit. Either way, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time on Binding Wise Rebirth.